Today guys, our plan is to try some new food. We'll go to a shop, buy something strange, interesting, something that we have never tried and then we'll come back to this place, to our lovely guest house, 6 BNB. I will also show you what a room here is like and we'll eat all this crazy interesting maybe not crazy just interesting weird strange interesting food to us interesting to us and let's go on a 7-eleven adventure today when it's cloudy it's been raining and not the best weather for outdoor adventure since this is taiwan the nearest 7-eleven isn't far away vlogging is dangerous especially in rainy weather the nearest 7-eleven is one minute walk in that direction there is one also in the opposite direction it's just past the pharmacy with three fat white dogs by the way and the place we are staying highly recommended a house turned into a guest house we have seen many such places here in the area well what from the outside looks like a guest house let's go in And the first shelf. I don't know what it is. Absolutely. Have no have no Sumi... clue. Sumiko what? Sumiko gurashi. 80%. Um, is it even food? Well let's well, I think so. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah. It's 80% something. We take this. I think that's what they sell at the night market. Maybe we should uh, take it take, and try it. Buy one, take one free. I believe this is what it says. I think this yeah. is enough. Yes, of course. Spicy flavor, hockey, waffles, Oreo. What is this? Cream puff. Looks oh, like a. Simple. This is actually good, but we have tried it. City number one. It's the same as Pocky, I think. Asparagus what? juice. What? Asparagus what? Asparagus juice. Yeah. This looks interesting. Le no, wait, this one. Look. Yogurt something. With yeah, yummy. let's take something sensible as well. A yogurt, lemon yogurt drink I with yummy mixed. <laughs> for me, it's more sensible is this. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try both. Uh, rich taro milk tea. Taro milk tea. Okay, for the next time. This whole shelf here looks like with teas. These are green teas, milk teas, mama cane, mango chips, or matcha. Let's go for matcha. <laughs> okay, usually we take paprika or chili or cheese. Let's go for matcha. What is this? This is cookies? Okay, this looks interesting enough. Put it here. Pink Put or. It in the box. Pink or red blue? Red blue. Let's go for this. And what is this? A sauce for chips? No. Mm, I don't. This is some seafood, something. Cognac shuang. Cognac shuang goes okay. into the basket. Can you imagine? I went to a shop without my phone, without my wallet, without cash. Without any money. Oops, but uh, luckily we live so close to this 7-Eleven, so 
we got the purchases. One more thing is missing. Una says that it is gonna be iconic for us to get also a Sakura jelly something drink. So we are going to the other 7-Eleven. They didn't have it here. So what do you call it properly? Cafe latte? Latte with the Sakura jelly and something else. We are going after it. The next 7-Eleven is around the corner from here. Two minute walk from the other one. Next to this huge building where there is a gym. Uh, the largest gym in Taiwan, the, uh, the billboard says. There are many gyms in this area, so if you decide to stay somewhere here. Next 7-Eleven. This is it. This looks good. It's big. This is the the big gym. But this is not one that we are... No. We go to a smaller one, and which is also way cheaper. Because this, I believe, costs 500 per uh, per day pass. But the one uh, we are going to, it uh, is starting from uh, 30 uh, NTD. Uh, it depends on the time you go to the gym. If you come in the morning until 12, then it's yeah. thir only 30, which is uh, less than a dollar or one dollar. Cheap. Cheap. And, and very good one, actually. The big one is like 15 or 20 dollars per time. So like 20 one. times uh, yeah. more expensive. So one dollar or 15 dollars. But I believe that also this one uh, same like many others are cheaper if you are taking a monthly pass but yes. we are not that long here that's actually quite a problem sometimes with the gyms yeah that you can't get a good price you're either overpaying or going maybe to some cheaper simpler places uh, the one we are going to even though it's cheap it's very good okay now it's going to be the snack time and I'll also show you what is the room like there in this guest house. And in case you didn't see the very first video from Hualien, then train station is something like five minute walk from here only. So very, very, very close. You take off your shoes. There we have drinking water, hot and cool. There are several stories, even an elevator. Bright and spacious room. The only downside is that there is not enough space to store your things, so some wardrobe would be nice, because otherwise I have put my clothes here because I need the place for filming and a nice modern also rather spacious bathroom and the price was something around 1000 that means a 30 euro 30 dollars nice okay now snack time setting up the testing station let's move this here I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. I I'm not sure if it's food or some let's, let's voice. I don't know. Uh, usually go. we translate uh, using the Google Translate camera thing, but this not today because we wanted it to be a surprise for us as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Now look at the. 7-Eleven receipts, they're so weird, you, there's no like items, there's no list of items, so we don't know what, what we bought. And when you scan these QR codes, it's... <laughs> this is so strange. It's also not showing the list of items. So strange, what is, what's strange? I don't know, what is this salt thing here, like kind of salt or it's... 
What, what we mm -hmm. have here? It's ice. Oh, it's... Do not eat, it's not salt. I don't mean this, but this one. This is a toy. Ah. Okay. Sumiko Gurashi toy. Okay. Mm, it's some sort of a milk candy. Okay. Mm. It's um it's like a candy which which partly melts in your mouth and then you can like crunch on it mm. or melt it. It's milk, it's a milk candy I think. So the total was just under 10 euro. 9.88. The drink was 247. Mm -hmm. So 9.98 euro, 10, 10 dollars 15. I think it's quite cheap because I don't think we would get um, s such a um, such a pile of snacks um, for 10 euros in Latvia. Um, okay, after the sweet stuff, maybe let's continue with something else. Sweet. Maybe we should try this first. Sakura latte with jelly mm -hmm. and ice. Hmm, I shouldn't have put my lipstick on. Now it's all red. Mm, it's tasty, I would say. Wait, I'm wiping off my lipstick. Hmm. It's good. Sweet, milk, okay. And there's also jelly, yeah? At the bottom. It's not the usual, like, it's not like a bubble tea. This is more like a, like a jam. Yeah. Like a marmalade. No, no, no not my thing. Mm. I like sweet drinks, but then... Mm. I prefer the normal bubble tea. I don't know what sakura tastes like, but this is good. But <gasps> an accident has happened. Um, uh oh, let me show you. Like, this is what you expect. And uh, <laughs> Instagram versus reality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is what you get. What you get. A pile of. Yeah, this will. <laughs> Snort it. Oh? Wow. This is not what I was... This one looks intact. I thought it is like a more of a... Uh, like you buy them at the night market. It's like more solid. This is just like a waffle with a... Yeah. But it, like, imagine like any waffle uh, build a fish out of it out of the crunchy mm. stuff and then fill it with only like 10% of filling. This is what you get. Mm, this is not really good. Mm. Mm. It's like really a waffle. Uh. It's a waffle, a wafer or... Wa no, it's a wa more like a wafer because it's mm. crunchy and there's like this powder inside. Mm. No. Sweet and tasty, but um, no. Nah. Yeah. Nah. It's a mess. No. Mm. No, this konjac. No. Yeah. You know, I think. Okay. I think let's leave the fish for then. Uh, this looks fish. And this. I think this is going to be some biscuits. Like. It's heavy. Oh wow. Hmm. It's like salty cookies. No, it's not salty. No. Ah, see? There's a picture on the other side. Don't know so if you can see. Cookies. Mm. 
a little bit sweet cookies. Yeah. Kind of nice, interesting, crunchy texture. Okay. Cookies. <clears throat> what is it? Um, asparagus juice. I think it will be good. Do you know what asparagus tastes like? Funny. Th the funny thing is, I never tried asparagus. I wanted to, and uh, when I ordered asparagus uh, dish, it uh, it was in Thailand, and they said that asparagus has finished. It's a clear liquid. <laughs> it tastes like a vegetable juice. Try it. Like soup. No, no smell. There was a smell. There was a smell when you first opened it. Very light. Like tastes like a uh, cold soup. No. No. Try. Try again. And <laughs> it does smell. It tastes kind of mixture between a fruit and a vegetable. So since I have never also tried, what is this? Asparagus. Asparagus. I don't know like what to expect, but. This is better than I was thinking. Okay, you can finish it. Mm. And this is a lemon yogurt drink with yummy mixed jelly. Yeah, I think we should mix these two together and it's gonna be a nice mix and jelly. A nice uh, pre-workout pre drink. This tastes, I would say, this tastes like a not so tasty fruit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not so tasty apple juice, like apple juice without the sweetness. Ah, this Only is light. this is Yakult, Yakult uh, yogurt. And this this, this thing that uh, is very very popular in Asia. I think I have tried it only twice in mm -hmm. the Philippines, and that's it. So lemon yogurt drink with yummy mix jelly. Look inside. It doesn't look yummy on the photo. It looks yucky. But look inside. It's even worse. <laughs> it's like a, you know, like a. It's like soup. Take a um, yogurt, add some water, and mix in. Ah, this smells worse. Okay. Okay. Tastes much better than looks. Just a little bit sore and then... yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but I wouldn't buy it. Like no, no, I don't like the texture. It's like soup. <laughs> yeah. Cold soup. Cold yogurt soup. Yeah. <laughs> Latvians will know what is cold soup. Uh, yeah, but uh, if if you don't have this cold soup in your uh, cuisine, just imagine you put. Like um, you um, cook soup and then you put it in the fridge and then you take it out and it's cold and then you drink it and it would taste like this but okay this is more sweet matcha crackers Chips. this is like uh, what were they, these orange corn like? corn this Cheetos Cheetos yeah it's like a matcha Cheetos matcha Cheetos yeah. Why it's mm. so sweet? Yeah, do you know uh, we have this corn snack in Latvia? A sweet dish. corn snack. Mm. It tastes, tastes, tastes like this. Oh god! Uh, <sighs> you know, I would add either more sugar. Yeah, no. To make it more matcha. It doesn't taste like mm. taste like matcha. No, actually, try more. Ugh, I don't like it. No, actually, it's it's perfect. I would say. I'm buying this again. Okay. It tastes very much like our Latvian uh, sweet corn. Yeah, it does. It's corn, yeah, in Latvia. Uh, yeah. It's a corn snack, like um. I think this is corn too. Very very similar to Cheetos, but sweet Cheetos with with a very light flavor of matcha. I would say matcha is very light here. This is very. Good. Oh wow! What? This is this looks raw. Uh, translate this one. Yeah, maybe you are not supposed to eat it like this. Cognac refreshing. From where I'm from, cognac means something drinkable. 
Con this is konjak. Spicy. Only 18 grams. Szechuan taste. Ah. Okay, let, I don't know. I still don't know what it is. What? What is it? Vegetarian, hairy, belly, water, soybean, cognac powder. Maybe it's not raw, like, I thought it's like raw, uh, I don't know raw fish, but maybe it is not. But this mm. does look like seafood. Oh. Mm. Like small thingies, like... Small pieces of could be seafood. Like... But it's not too bad, though. But uh, it's weird. What is it? I think it's squid. Look, the photo is like uh, the thing on the photo looks like squid. I'll try to Google what is cognac. Maybe th this is the keyword. Like, what is cognac? Cognac jelly. Uh, this is cognac. Wow. Cognac jelly is Con cognac is a root vegetable that grows in parts of Asia. So okay. it's a <clears throat> root vegetable. Potato. It's known for its starchy corn. Wow. Wow. But it can't be conjunct because it looks like they have squid on a stick. I think this is kind of like fake squid. Or maybe because like it says vegan squid. Wow, this is impressive actually. People use conjunct as traditional medicine and as a food source to make noodles and snacks. Very, very mm. strange thing. Actually, the more, <clears throat> the more I eat it, the more I like it. It's spicy. It's very spicy, this one. Mm. I have seen cognac <coughs> jelly and I thought, I always thought that it's a, like a mm. sweet drink. I really don't like the smell. Okay, I love it, actually. <coughs> this I love it. Mm. <coughs> it's so spicy, I love it. And that finish this video see you soon not sure from where i think still from taiwan wait where's the summary where's so the summary i like this <laughs> i like this and this is the drink i like the most and the milk candy was also good but there's not not much to eat it's just like a small package of milk candy and i'm not sure what is the purpose of milk candy Okay, bye. Bye.